Hey guys, it's Mike McKinstry from Basquatch Hunter TV. I'm about to hit the water, but before I get out of my kayak and go catch some fish, I wanted to go over with you guys the, all the different models and options for the chatter baits made by Z-Man Fishing Products. Follow along in this video and I'm going to give you a really quick rundown of the differences and the applications of all the different models in the family of chatter baits. So as you guys can tell, I throw a lot of chatter baits. I always post about them. I catch a lot of fish using them. So right now I'm about to go throw the jackhammer with a scented paddlers in Houdini color. And I'm about to tell you guys why. But first we're gonna start out with the family of chatter baits from beginning to end and a very quick rundown of when and how I use them. So first in the lineup, we're gonna go with the least expensive and the lightest chatter bait in the family of chatterbaits that we're going to go over today and that's the chatterbait original this is a quarter ounce this is a brown and black color uh, what's really cool about this one is it's light enough where you can keep it at the top of the water column so if i'm working with weed beds uh, lily pads or any kind of structure i can work this on top of any structure i want without having to speed it up too much so i can keep the slow retrieve that i like with a little slow wobble which attracts most of the fish and it keeps you from losing uh, reaction strikes i can also speed it up a little bit more and keep it on top of the water and use it almost like a buzz bait. So this bait works in almost any condition all year round and it's the least expensive option. So if you don't have one of these in your boat, you're missing out. So go get yourself an original chatter bait from Z-Man Fishing Products and get some fish in the boat. The Chatterbait Elite is very similar to the original chatter bait. Um, this has a 5 out Gamakatsu hook um, with a molded in keeper. It has the easy skirt just like the original Chatterbait so you can swap out the skirts and customize your baits as well. This holds a trailer a little bit better in my opinion so if I'm using a trailer like a bat wings or a minnows I like to add it onto the Elite Chatterbait. It has a little bit better components too so you get longer life out of it. So this one is a 3 8 ounce so this one doesn't come in the quarter ounce so I don't use this for the higher part of the water column like the original Chatterbait. This one I use a little bit lower in the water column when I'm working weed lines or structure in shallower water. Okay, so moving forward, we're going to talk about the Freedom Chatterbait. The Freedom Chatterbait is very unique, and it's one of the most used chatterbaits in my arsenal. So the Chatterbait uh, from Z-Man Fishing Products is a collaboration between Z-Man and Freedom Tackle. You can also change out your hooks with Freedom Tackle's patented hook changing system. So you can change out your hooks and customize this bait completely to whatever you need to use it for, for whatever kind of fish you're fishing for even. The main thing that is incredible about this bait, and, and when I discovered this bait, it was a game changer for me. And the reason why is because the skirt and hook are actually jointed from the jig head. So the jig head with the coffin style blade on it moves separately from the skirt and the trailer you put on. So if you put a paddle tail trailer on this, you get a really good swimming motion in the back of this bait, while the head of it stays straight and you get that really good chatter. So this can simulate a, a lot of different kinds of prey and a lot of different kinds of predator fish will be attracted to this. Now this bait, I work a little bit deeper in the water column because I use this bait as a swim bait. This is one that I don't really use as a jig that often. I don't really keep on top of the water column that often. This is more of like a four to six foot steady retrieve for what I use it for, but you can use it at any part of the water column. But a good steady retrieve will put some fish in the boat with the Freedom Chatterbait. So now at the top of the food chain, as I like to call it, in the family of chatterbaits from Z-Man Fishing Products is the Jackhammer. Now most of you have heard about the jackhammer and how great it catches fish and let me tell you why because this is one that i'm using right now too in the fall time now this is a 3 8 ounce this is the spot remover color i love the spot remover color it's a great color so is smoky shad there's some really good color options with this so on the jackhammer this is the highest end chatterbait as far as cost goes and in my opinion as far as quality goes so it starts running very quickly. And when I say that, I mean, when you cast it into the water and you start retrieving, it's almost an immediate reaction. It starts chattering. Where some of the other chatter baits, like the original chatter bait, you might have a little bit of a pause before moving, which isn't a bad thing, but it's nice to know that you have an immediate reaction. As soon as you start retrieving, this bait has an incredible vibration and movement, which you, you get a lot of those reaction strikes right when the bait hits the water. So this is the one to use, especially when you're looking for bedding fish or anything like that. So the shape of the head on this one makes it easier to skip under docks. You have a higher hookup ratio. It has a 3D eye on it. So if you look closely on this bait, you can notice that the detail on the jig head is incredible. Now a lot of times when I'm throwing the jackhammer, I'm throwing this in a little bit deeper water. So if I'm ledge fishing down south, 
or if I'm fishing up here in Michigan on gradual drop-offs, I look for that hard weed line deeper in the water column, and that's when I throw the jackhammer to get down there quickly. I actually have one tied on right now, and that's what I'm throwing today, is my jackhammer chatterbait with the paddle tail. Um, it's a beautiful bait. You can see the detail on the jig head right there. So the jackhammer is definitely one you need in your arsenal, and if you don't have a jackhammer chatterbait, trust me, you're missing out on some fish. All right, so last but not least in the chatterbait family, we have one of the most unique chatterbaits, and that's the diesel chatterbait. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that it comes with the four inch diesel minnows right here. So what's really cool about that is you can put any swim bait you want on this jig head, but it gives you the best one for it. When you put the diesel minnows on the jig head, it's an incredible matching and you'll catch so many fish on it. I use this mainly when I'm fishing for pike, for walleye, for redfish, for trout. Um, when I'm looking for those really stubborn, hard to get bass that you're, you just cast over and over at, the diesel chatterbait has an incredible amount of vibration to it. You have the paddle tail moving behind it, then you have the coffin style blade in the front, hitting the front of the jig head to create a really, really nice sound underwater. You'll also notice that the shape of the jig head on the diesel is made for a swim bait. So this one's made to move. So you'll have no problem or any resistance moving us through the water column. This simulates fish really well. So when I throw this down to the bottom, I usually let this hit the bottom that I'm fishing and I work its way up to the surface. That way I cover every inch of that water column and every level, level of that water column and I find those hard to get fish. So make sure you guys get some diesel chatter baits. This one is a smoky shad color. It's one that I use all year long. I never take it off of one of my rods all year. I throw it in spring, summer, and fall and I catch fish with it. So make sure you guys check that out too. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was able to explain a little bit more in depth about the difference between the chatter baits and which one you can use in what conditions. If you have any further questions, feel free to go to the Z-Man Fishing Products website and just go ahead and read all the descriptions of each one and see which one fits what you need best. Or you can comment on this video with any questions you have and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, share it on your page, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get more content delivered right to you as fast as possible. Thank you guys very much, and in the comments below, write down what chatterbait you use the most. Which one works the best for you, which one catches the most fish, and what color do you guys use and when. So fill up the comments below with that. I'll see you guys on the water soon, and thank you guys very much. And I'm going fishing now. My kayak's this way, sorry.